today I am going to show you this very cool custom made Cimarron 2 plus 2. It's a reversible trailer. For this particular customer, it's going to be a carriage trailer. They have draft horses and carriage. So they'll want to potentially put their horses in the front and put their carriage in the back at some point. Uh, this trailer is eight feet wide at their request. So at eight feet wide, you cannot have a full length running board. So we added this great flip down step. Plus stink bug. Dressing room has four saddle racks. We carpeted this whole dressing room wall here. It's got extra bridle hooks. Carpet on the walkthrough door. Max air fan in the dressing room. That is an upgrade that this customer wanted. It will fan and push air in or pull the hot air out of this dressing room. Ventilation was of utmost importance. Got a blanket bar there. Oh, excuse me, a clothing bar. Your blanket bars are over top of your saddle racks. Walk through door from the horse area to the dressing room. There's a butt bar that goes here. I'm not gonna try to do that with one hand. But what I do wanna show you is this divider. All right, so this trailer is a two plus two, meaning we have two horses here facing the rear of the trailer, and we can have two horses in the back facing the front of the trailer. So I am on the street side, rear facing horse. This is a telescoping divider. So when we go to load this horse on the street side of the trailer, that divider, I'll show you how it looks in a minute, but I've got it telescoped in. You've got full access to your ramp here. And you can enter that side ramp and put this far horse in. If you feel like you need a little bit of extra space here, you can always put this breast bar down, lead your horse up just a smidge, get your divider shut, and then back your horse back in. So once that horse is in, this divider is gonna come over and this will be awkward to do with one hand. The divider telescopes. So I just made that divider longer. I'm gonna try to do this without shutting the phone off. So I'm telescoping this divider all the way out. There we go. And then that pin is gonna drop in that hole. So there's that divider that goes between my two straight load rear facing horses. I was able to get the horse up the side ramp without that divider in the way. And now it's locked into position. And I have a butt bar that I can put here if I choose to do so. Just not going to try to do that with one hand. So then we can again load this horse, this curbside rear facing horse up this side ramp. His head goes here. The other horse's heads are over there. Their noses or on either side of that door. It would be very difficult for them to touch. Got a nice sliding window at this horse's head. On this horse, we've got a nice long hip window. In the horse area, we do have four regular fans. We also have a max air fan in here. We went, again, optimum ventilation was important to them. So we've got four pop-up roof vents in here, four fans and one max air fan in the horse area. Once you've got your horse on this side, this bar telescopes down, or excuse me, it doesn't telescope. It just slides down. We've got a track here that this bar sits into. So that will slide right down the track and then right into that hole. So this horse on the curb side, rear facing horse is in here nice and secure. Again, I mentioned the worm floor that was done here at Trailer Country LLC. This one is black. Our doors are held open by high density plastic. They're, it's super quiet. It doesn't make a ton of noise at all. So that's nice. It just slides right into place. So we now have two rear facing horses back there. And in the back of the trailer, we have two forward facing horses. This is one of my favorite things is the sliding divider. So because this customer has carriages, this is going to be a great product for them. I'm doing my breast bars here. 
So this divider will slide completely out of the way. And it's super easy for me to do all by myself. So I'm gonna undo our head divider here. I'm gonna go, go ahead and undo the floor in the front. And the roof in the front. Okay, so basically I've just taken the pin out of the ceiling and the pin out of the floor by moving those little knobs. I'll do the same thing in the back. So I'm gonna take the pin out of the floor in the back, pin out of the ceiling in the back. So my divider is now completely unattached, except for the track in the front and the back by myself. I can easily slide this divider over in the trailer and latch it into place. So the back end of that divider is latched into place. Uh -oh, I made a mistake because I got this head divider on the back side of that. All right, let's try that one more time. But look, it's so easy, it's no big deal. I made a boo-boo and I can fix it. Right, so here's what, here's what I did, just so you'll know. This head divider needs to stay on that side of the track. All right, no big deal. So let's go back and put this back into place. All right, top in place. Part, and then I can do the bottom. Breast bars are slightly in the way. Notice on this rear curbside horse, my van's in the front. Everywhere else I have them in the back. But obviously because that divider needs to go back there, my fan doesn't go back there. So anyway, sorry that took a few minutes. I have this huge open stall here. I can put in a golf cart, I can put in a carriage, I can put in a four-wheeler, I can slide anything up there. And I just did that all by myself while holding a camera and it wasn't tragic. So anyway, lots of cool features on this trailer. It is very similar to the two plus two model that we've done here for years. This particular customer wanted an eight wide, which we did. When you've only got two horses back here, that's really not an issue to have that wheel well inside. Got drop down windows at both horse heads. Again, they wanted maximum ventilation. So we've got four pop-up roof vents, four fans, and a max air fan in our horse area. All the lights are LED in this trailer inside and out. Nice large hip windows, padded breast and butt bars. We warmed the floor here at Trailer Country LLC. This is just such a super neat trailer. They also got cameras, one backup camera and two inside. This particular trailer is beautiful charcoal metallic. All Cimarron trailers are insulated in the walls of the horse area. And they have a half inch honeycomb fiberglass insulated roof. They have Westlake nitrogen filled tires. Those tires have a one year, no questions asked warranty. Two years of roadside assistance. So that's a really nice bonus. Um, LED lights everywhere. Those LED lights do have a lifetime warranty. Again, we put a flip down step here on this side because you can't have a running board. So that flip down step helps us along with this handle to be able to open and close this drop down window. We did the same on the other side. We put a little flip down cleat because there's nowhere to step to get that drop down window open. We've got a drop down window on our escape door. Beautiful extruded siding goes so nice with that charcoal skin. Um, on the Cimarron trailer, you have a choice of two nose styles. This is what we call the VP nose. That's not true. The VP nose is the standard nose. And now I'm having a moment. I can't remember the name of this nose, but this is the upgraded nose style. It just ties the whole trailer together a little bit better. Wrap around, this is the wrap around nose. I knew it would come to me. 
So this is the wraparound. The other style nose is the VP. I think this one just sort of ties it together a bit. On the front of the trailer, we have this battery box. There's a battery in there that runs your hydraulic jack. Also run your fans and lights when you're not plugged into your truck. Full size spare also with that aluminum wheel. And we added this water tank here at Trailer Country. So this particular trailer was a custom order for a customer, but I wanted to show it to you because it's so similar to the two plus two that we do here at Trailer Country LLC in Carrollton, Virginia. We are happy to make this particular trailer with all of these upgrades and amenities, or we can do the Cimarron in our standard two plus two. We do have a standard, our version of standard, two plus two Cimarron on order. And if you wanna see the specs on that, give me a call or visit us at trailercountryllc.com. We are located in Carrollton, Virginia. We do ship nationwide. You can reach us at info at trailercountryllc.com, 757-646-7315.